Was the structural steel from World Trade Center 7 preserved, documented, analyzed, according to standard procedures for investigating engineering failures? 400 truckloads per day of material were taken away from the World Trade Center site and sent to China for recycling. There were laws violated in the destruction of that evidence and for the American Society of Civil Engineers to ignore those events is extremely disturbing and is a violation in my opinion of their professional code of ethics. It was contrary to the way all investigations are done. If, if an airplane crashes they seal off the entire area and nobody touches anything. They move it to a secure location and they reconstruct an aircraft. Normally uh, when you have a structural failure uh, you carefully go through the debris field uh, looking at each item, photographing every beam as it collapsed and every uh, uh, column where it is in the ground and you pick them up very carefully and you uh, look at each element. We were unable to do that in the case of Tower 7. You can't do science when you are deprived of the evidence and when your hypothesis is the least valid instead of the most likely. When the most likely hypothesis in, in the case of Building 7 wasn't even mentioned, uh, this is not science. It's trying to prove preconceived ideas.